All right, everybody, welcome back. Yes, the table's done. I didn't record a whole, whole, whole lot with it. Um, I'm sorry about it. It was a very, very fun build again. It was exactly the same as it was before with the gantry and everything on it. <clears throat> uh, I learned a whole lot about downdraft, by the way, too. So over here, I also put in, put in two holes on it. Uh, two 12-inch holes, basically, with one extremely large pipe on the back of it. Um, welcome back to the channel, by the way. Subscribe, I'd appreciate it. That'd be great. Um, again, this is more for fun than it is anything. So, I painted uh, this right here black on the inside of it because I wanted to see if, basically, on this rail, it would keep it a little bit cleaner, potentially. But, uh, anyways, so, yeah. So the slats I went with, they have four inches, four and a quarter, four inches. Some of them have, um, some of them are accidentally at five inches. Kind of got some bigger gaps like right here and such. Didn't mean to do that, whatever. Um, yeah, came together really well. I have two spots on it that have basically... This shirt is wet, it's kind of gross looking. Anyways, so as you can see, I have a big nice hole right here. And then also I have a hole right there as well. So <clears throat> kind of like a drop box, if you may. So if you've ever seen a drop box in uh, dust collection systems, perhaps, um, basically you got a setup where all the fines will kind of drop down on the front side of it and all the other garbage will be on the other side of it. Uh, yeah. So, like I said, it went together really, really easy. Again, I still hold on that two, two-ish week timeline. Um, the electrical was interesting to play with. I learned a whole lot about electrical that I really had no idea about, and there's just so much time involved in that. Um, of course, you do it once, you learn, do one, teach one. Yeah do one teach one or learn one do one teach one i guess that's what they say <clears throat> so i also had a setup where all of these are pretty much removable so i can actually take this and remove it um i don't think that'll be very conducive as soon as i start putting heavy heavy plate on it i i, I literally ordered a six inch or seven inch cut ability oxypropane system months ago months ago okay I still don't have it. I'm to the point now where I'm kind of like, I don't even care if I get it. Um, maybe if I get a, a two inch or an inch and a quarter, well, anything over an inch and a quarter job, then I'm, I guess I'll call them up and say, yeah, fill the order. Uh, other than that, <clears throat> everybody uses the excuse of, well, just anything anymore, really, for not having it and not having it in. So overall, though, it's been a great, great build. Only problem I have with this table, honestly, was the far right, I'm sorry, the far side gantry um, gear racking over there. I basically didn't tighten it up tight enough. Legit, like that's about all it comes down to on the shaft. There's a 3.8 shaft. There's a pin that goes onto it. You screw it in. <clears throat> the pin, basically, I just didn't tighten it up. I forgot. So I have one side of the gantry pulling, the other side of the gantry, so it's kind of like, kind of like going a little bit slow. One would go without the other. This is this is semantic stuff. Super super simple crap. Um, cut out something for somebody another day. If anybody ever says, "Oh, your slats are too thick," shut up. So like, did coffee? I mean, it was like paper thin. Is what the guy wanted. I don't really care. It all pays the same. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty dialed in if you were to happen to ask me. Um, and then it was like pressology, I guess is what the word says. Um, so again, pretty daggone slick on how good it looks and how clean it looks. So I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, yeah, and don't ever let anybody tell you that because the slats are quarter inch, that all you can't use it because it's quarter inch. You absolutely can use them if they're quarter inch. It is not that big of a deal. I uh, got these at a scrap yard, literally got them at a scrap yard. They, were, they put them in their, um, <clears throat> put them in the yard, and basically, in the yard, you can go walk the yard and get steel for a much cheaper price because it's weathered, or it's ugly, or it's blemished, or what have you. 
So these came in 20 foot long flats, quarter inch. And I have some extras actually over here in the back as well. So honestly, I don't think they're, <laughs> I think they're, uh, I think they're a little thicker than what I'm even thinking. Honestly, now I say it out loud, but whatever. Um, yeah, welded all those little pieces in, welded all the pans in, all that. Uh, that little piece of cardboard there. The only thing I think I might do later on, after I get the ro after the software gets better for the rotary, um, I think what I might do is I might actually make a little like an accordion looking thing here on the end, right down here, where basically I can pull it, pull it forwards because I have off cuts like that all the time. So for the downdraft to work. Um, basically it'll pull all of it down so when it does that it does a great job at doing that but I think it can make it even better if I were to zone it out even more um, I zoned it originally I was like oh I can put a flutter valve like a flip valve basically on a T uh, on the other side over there and then it goes out through there out into onto the outside where the actual dust collection sucks it out I also have another dust collection outside that I have yet to even hook up uh, 16 gauge is what that is and I cut it on fine cut 45 amps and it sucked I mean the, the dust collection at 1300 CFM did great um, it didn't do perfect but it did it did the job um, <clears throat> that one outside has like 2700 CFM so I can't wait to work with both of them together and really see what I can do to pull it out because what I didn't do is I didn't put the flap valve in between the both of them over there so it would be kind of doing the same thing if I just had that simple accordion style pull across and just pull it across so I don't have to sit there and mess with all this, but all this other garbage. Um, yeah, so overall though, it's a great build. It's been fun. Um, anybody wants to ping me or ask me any questions about it, by all means, hit me up. I love to talk to y'all. Um, again, it's always a fun build. It's fun stuff. There is one thing I do have though that I have not hooked up yet that I'm gonna do a review on. And this is this bad boy right here. So this is not a hypertherm. Okay. So this is a HTP torch, machine torch. Okay. So when you look at this machine torch, in the end of it right there, you can actually see it's a spring. Okay. So on that spring, the way that it's built is it basically takes the part of an actual electrode and does the job of the electrode. So what it does, so this is, an, this is a hypertherm, genuine, therm, genuine hypertherm electrode right here, okay? So basically what it's done is it's done the same exact thing as this, essentially. And what it's doing is you, uh, you can basically actually take this and cut the head of it off, cut, it, cut the spring off, and the spring is embedded in here. So in a pinch, you could actually take this one, cut the head of it off, and then stick it in there. The reason, I know somebody's going, why? Why would you do that, right? Uh, cost, that's it. That's about the only reason. I guarantee you everything else in this bad boy is pretty much 99.9% .9 the same as the one that's right over my shoulder right here, this, the Duramax that's right there. Um, I'm gonna get this thing hooked up. I'm gonna get it played with. I gotta reach out to HTP and get some actual consumables for it. I mean, everything here is the same. Same hookup, same everything. So, I mean, this is a much, much uh, more pliable, I would say, is the term I would use for this. Uh, that one on that 50-foot machine torch is just very, very rigid. Um, but it doesn't matter because if it does the same, if it does the job and does it well, I don't care. It could be made out of absolute rocks. I don't give a crap. Um, yeah, that's what that is. So, um, anybody has any questions or any comments, concerns, or something like that, or any, anything, um, by all means, hit me up. I know a lot of people have never been afraid to hit me up on uh, Plasma Spider or Instagram or YouTube. So, like I said, uh, you got any questions, comments, concerns? It's been a fun build. I even painted this little piece right here tonight, just playing around with it in between the two. I did a terrible job taping it. But um, yeah, just wanted to see. I know last time I always rubbed this thing down with a bunch of oil. So I was gonna basically paint this one and not that one over there. 
and just see if there's any difference really. I do have a little drip in my garage from a little little bit of water that comes in through the ceiling, but yeah, that's what that that's what's up. I've had a bunch of little random jobs as well come in from a couple of really good customers. Um, they've been keeping me very busy, and it's funny. It's uh, sometimes it's feast and famine absolutely with this table, and I'm using it using the guts out of it. And here recently, I haven't even touched the table for a customer order. Um, it's just it comes and it goes, and it comes and it goes. So um, as long as it keeps on coming, I don't really care. So yeah, thank you all, and thank you all for along the journey. Sorry I didn't detail everything in every bit of detail, but if you want to know anything about that gantry, watch my previous ones on the 5x20. I went in ridiculous amount of detail with that. Uh, again, follow me on Instagram. I uh, keep that more updated than anything. And then I've actually cross-referenced it onto my uh, Facebook uh, business page as well. So, yep, thank you all for your time. It's been a fun build. Um, I have actually a couple other videos I have actually recorded that I haven't even posted or edited so it's just been really busy in my life and that's what it is so again thank you all i appreciate you and uh subscribe thank you all take care